everyone, Stephanie here again with the Crazy Canvas. I am going to do a new painting that I have not done yet. Um, this is another one of Shelly Art's style or techniques. Um, it is called the Tail Feather. I have never done it before, so we will see how this goes. I'm going to attempt it live on stream with you guys for the first time. So let's get started. I am using colors that are kind of supposed to be like a peacock theme. Um, I guess there is the version of what I remember a peacock or think a peacock should look like. And then there's the real version of what the feather actually looks like. Um, so we'll kind of see what it looks like and go from there. So the first thing I'm gonna do is get my puddle down. I think that's pretty good. And we're gonna get our colors down. So the first color I'm using is a green. All of the colors will be right below us in the video. Excuse the background noise. That is my dog ringing the bell saying that he wants to go outside. And my kids are home too. So I have just a little bit of noise going on in the background. And I'm going to be honest with you guys right now. Um, I know this isn't exactly as smooth as it should go down. My circle wasn't very pretty, but um, we're just going to give this a whirl and see what it looks like. I feel like my paint might be a little thick too. So in that case, you guys, I would suggest thinning yours down a little bit more than the consistency I have here. In her videos, it seems to come off of her stick just a little easier. Now we're going to use this. So that last color was supposed to be purple. Up against that green, it looks pretty, um, up against that green, it looks pretty blue. But this is a rose gold. I want to see if these will pour out any smoother. I guess I can always go back once or twice for a couple passes if I need to. Oh, and it is thundering outside. This is a very, very pretty metallic light blue. And you know what? I think I'm just not moving fast enough either. Because then my paints start to ripple. And then the last color we're gonna use is this really pretty dark blue that I have that I love. It's got like a emerald sheen to it. It's really pretty. And again, like I said, I have never done this pour, so I don't know what this is gonna look like. Um, this next part is what I'm kind of worried about. So the swipe, I think I'm supposed to hold like this and go around. So. That's what I'm worried about. I'm worried about getting the swipe right, but we're gonna get some cell activator on here and give it a go. I am um, gonna use the two different color cell activators. I have a dark blue made up from a piece that I did before, and I have a white. So I'm gonna put the dark blue on first. My son is getting ready to exit the door, so you guys will hear a little background noise. I apologize. Again, I am a full-time mom, um, busy house here, three kids, 16, eight, and six. So um, I don't have a private per se office to do this in. My office is um, a three wall room with no door. So when everyone is home in the afternoons like this, um, I often have company. My eight-year-old is standing right next to me right now, even though I know you guys can't see her in the, in the video. So 
here we go. We are going to... Do you want to try to do it? Not this one yet, baby. Mommy's never even done this one. I'm trying to... Hey, you did kind of like... So like if I put it down, it goes that way. Okay. I think this is... I think this is the right way. So we're going to give it a go, guys. Watch out, baby, so my elbow doesn't hit you. It's okay. kind of like an E. Yep, kind it. of. Okay. Whoa! So let's see how it turns out. Oh my gosh. This one, like, wee! I did mess up. That section in the middle shouldn't be white. I should have. I don't know if I can actually fix that or not, though. That should. I should have intersected my colors with my swipe there. Um, I don't really think I can fix that, you guys. So actually, I'm just going to leave it. Mom? Yeah, baby. I wonder why you say it's messed up because it always turns out a little better when it's messed up. Yeah. For me. Well, you're my biggest fan, so that means a lot. Okay, I'm just going to move this around to the edge of the canvas a little more. And get one of these tools. Okay. Yeah, baby. Um, yeah, baby. Let's do one more. Okay. Just in case this stays on here, I wonder if I should go this way with it. No, you know what? I have a feeling this is just going to roll off the canvas anyways, but mine as well. Okay. So we're going to give it a spin and see what she does. Let me scoot my canvas up a little bit. I'll go slow at first. You know what? Something else I want to do is hit this spot right here. There we go. That'll help that a little bit. So the purple kind of got lost, except for in that little center section. Bella. Bella. Hmm. Okay. Not exactly what I was planning, but still something that I am happy with. I am going to give us another line right here, I believe. I'm not in love with this middle section right here where the white was left, but I don't know of any way to fix it. So, out of not wanting to wreck it, I'm gonna leave it. I am, however, gonna see if I can pull this down right here into this line. Let's grab that and come down one more time. Kind of separate that a little bit, pull some white through there. Okay guys, I am happy with this. The colors in this area actually are pretty crazy. Let me grab you guys and show you guys this. 
So pardon the glare on the screen, but if you can see that rose gold that is under there, just kind of like a cloud effect. And the shimmer and the metallic in this is just gorgeous. It's just amazing. I'm trying to not have too much of a glare on the screen. There we go. So the colors turned out amazing. Yeah, I'm happy with this. Okay guys, well, that is it. I appreciate you guys hanging out. I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up hit the subscribe button. And if you guys have any questions at all, anything that I can help you with, you guys are wondering anything about technique, ingredients, anything, um, please just comment below the video and I will respond to you. Um, I am happy to help people in any way that I can with any knowledge that I have. And I will be seeing you guys again soon.